as you can see here, here's my old shifter knob, a power-up mushroom. And it's definitely seen some better days. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you guys how I made the shifter knob in the first place. Let's check it out. Now one of the first pieces you'll need is a wheel lug nut, and I purchased mine off of eBay, and this is an acorn style, so it's shallow. This size is M12 1.25, and it screws on perfectly onto my shifter here. And what you want to do is get a marker, and when you screw it down all the way, mark the front of the lug nut. This way, when it comes time later for assembly, you know which way is the front. picked up some fiberglass resin at Lowe's and I also picked up these candy tins at my job. And you can find these all over at FYE or Hot Topic and they work great because they pretty much look like a shifter knob already. I also picked up the lug nut right there. I said it's nice and shallow so this way it'll fit inside the candy tin. Now this will be where you take the marking that you use to know which was the front with the magic marker there and you'll line it up with the face of the mushroom so this way you know it's facing forward. We're going to need some power tools so grab your drill, a couple drill bits right here of assorted sizes and I also have some taper bits this way you can taper out the size of the hole a little bit easier. I just drilled a little pilot hole and I'm using one of the tapers to widen it. And you need to make it as wide as the lug nut so all the threads can go through. So just take your time with this here and make sure it all lines up good. Now another thing I came into trouble with my old shifter knob was the top is hollow and it would dent in. So I'm drilling a hole in the bottom here so I can later fill it with resin and this way it won't dent while I'm using it as a shifter. Now I'm using some two-part epoxy that I will use to affix the wheel lug nut into the head of the shifter here. Now you can use hot glue as well, um, you just pretty much need to keep it in place while the resin dries. But this way I know it's not going anywhere because this glue is super strong. I'm just protecting some of the parts here with painters tape so in case the resin does drip over it does not ruin my shifter. Now make sure to read your instructions here guys and wear safety gloves and a mask as well because this stuff smells. It ends up breaking down to being about 10 drops per one ounce of resin make sure you get a nice measuring cup there while you're picking up the resin this way you can average it out pretty good Make sure you guys stir this a lot so the hardener mixes in very well with the resin. And when you're all mixed up, uh, I just poured a little bit here in the top. I probably should have made the hole a little bit better so the resin could have seeped in better. I ended up sticking a pen in there to get it to go in better, but 
and there's the finished product of all the resin drying. It takes about 24 hours for the resin to dry unless it's very sunny out. Um, I just let it sit overnight to make sure it was fully cured. But they're nice and hard and now we can assemble it. Now to finish it up, I'm using that 5-minute epoxy, which I bought at Lowe's as well. I'm sure they sell it at other hardware stores. Um, but that's how I'm going to affix the top of the mushroom head onto the toad face there. And this stuff cures awesome. I used liquid nails in the past and that worked as well, um, but I know this stuff is a little bit stronger, so I figured I'd go with this. So here's the finished product guys of the shifter knob that I made here. Turned out pretty awesome. I used the one-up mushroom and there's the uh, threaded part on the bottom there. And now this obviously uh, varies from car to car so make sure you do some research before you buy um, one of the lug nuts that you need to make this cool little mod shifter here. And you can pretty much put that into any like candy tin or something else that you want to make into a shifter. Um, so stay tuned because I'll probably make some other cool shifters in the near future. So make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you guys next video.